Hello everyone! Today we are going to make share bears. It's a great way to have some fun and talk about sharing as a whole family. For this craft today, you are going to need some paper, a scissors, a pencil, some adhesive, either glue or tape, and then I have a jam jar. And I think this is really a sweet way to make your share bear, but if you don't have these around your house to use, there is also a way to make a share bear using either a toilet paper roll or a brown paper bag. So we'll show you how those look at the end of the video if you'd rather make that kind of share bear. And the first step is we are going to pick the colors we want to make our bear because this is going to be the bear's body and we're going to make a head for the bear and arms and legs so you can pick whatever color you want for your bear's fur and it can even be a rainbow bear if you wanted what do you think you're going to pick buddy i think i'm going to pick an aquamarine bear. aquamarine awesome so once you have your paper picked for your bear's fur, then we can start making the head. And what I do is I just use the lid as a circular shape that I can trace to make a bear's head. Once you have your bear's head cut out, we're gonna go ahead and make the ears and the arms and the legs. And what I like to do is just fold a piece of paper in half and that way, if I draw a shape and I cut out right here, I will have two versions of that. So I'll have two arms and two legs. I'm also just going to draw a little circle like that. And again, when I cut through both parts of the paper, I'll have two ears for my cute little share bear. Okay, and once you have your pieces cut out, you'll notice where I had folded it, those just need to be, those just need to be trimmed. And my craft buddy already did that. So we have the arms, the legs, and the ears. For the next step, I like to just make a little bit of an, of an inner ear. So I'm going to use the pink and just make a real little circle to glue right on top of those ears. And we're also going to start to make the face of now the bear. You can just start gluing your pieces together. Make your head first, and then we will attach our arms and legs onto the jar directly. Okay, so we have our bear heads ready. I ended up just using glue to attach the pink parts, and then I used scotch tape, just kind of did the the roll uh, so I could attach that and I use scotch tape to on the back to attach the ears. So what I'm going to do now is draw our bear face. Are you going to draw one too? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to make my little eyes and I'm going to make my nose right up there, kind of right on that seam where the oval starts and then I'm going to do a sweet little smile. Oh, that looks so nice, buddy. I love it. And there is our bear head. Once you have your share bears all put together, now comes the even more fun part. Now we are going to talk about what is it we each have that we could potentially share with others. So what are the things that we have that we can share? 
How can we share our time and help people? How can we share our knowledge and ideas? And how could we possibly share our talents and interests? So you can talk about this as a family and have fun coming up with ideas. And when you think of things you can share, you can write them on a piece of paper and you can put it in your share bear. So these are some of the ideas that I came up with and that my craft buddy came up with. And we really only did this exercise for a couple minutes. So once we're done with this video, we can do this for an even longer time, but look at the variety of things that we came up with. And I am sure you and your family are gonna fill up those share bears. I did want to ask my craft bud here what he picked and why he thought of those things to share. I picked three. Mine was thinking books and love. Oh, I really like that. What is a way you could share your love with people? You could like give people a hug or a kiss. Oh, that's great. And what about how I, I can imagine how you could share your books with somebody. How could you share your thinking with somebody? You could tell what you're thinking with others. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. Now, as I said before, if your family does not have the glass jars, there are some other options to use. You can use a toilet paper roll and you can make a toilet paper roll bear. And then when you come up with the items um, for the share bear, you can put it right in the top. Now, an, an advantage to the glass jar is that you can see the amount of items and ideas and talents we can share. But this is another really nice alternative. And I think my little buddy did such a great job on this one. One other point for either the jar or another method is if your paper isn't thick enough and it wants to flop down, what we did with this particular share bear is we just reinforced it by taping a popsicle stick to the back and that helped our share bear's head to stay nice and tall. And then the other option you may want to use is the paper bag option. Same concept, I just uh, taped the head onto the back of a paper bag and then it has the little feet and arms and of course this can stand up as well on a counter and you can fill up your bag with all of the different ideas you have about how you also can be a share bear. It looks like a 